Hey there, YouTube family. It's Stocks with Josh, and this is top crypto news that affects you. Before we begin, invest in that like. And if you're new to this page and you're looking to grow your stock and crypto wealth, then hit the subscribe button. Anything I say is not a suggestion for you to buy, sell, or hold a stock. And I will never reach out to you in the comments section to contact me on WhatsApp, Instagram, or Telegram. Okay, guys, I wanted to cover some really interesting news stories with you this week that really are, are foreshadowing some big things to come in crypto and Bitcoin and ETH. And the first one is the story of Uganda finding 31 million metric tons of gold in their country. I want to just state, a lot of you may not know, that in all of circulation, the market cap of gold in the entire world is $11.6 trillion. And the gold that Uganda has claimed to find is valued at over $12 trillion, which means they're saying that they now have or have discovered in their country more gold than exists in the world, right? And this brings us back to the conversation of comparing Bitcoin to gold, right? And the conversation of scarcity. We all know that there's only ever going to be 21 million Bitcoins in total circulation. Right now, there's only 19 million. And of that 19 million, a pretty large percentage, some speculate, um, possibly as much as 20% has been lost to hardware damage or seed phrases being lost and it's not accessible anymore, which means that there really are less than 19 million in circulation and there may only ever be around 19 to 20 million in circulation. And here's the problem with that. There are 48 million millionaires in the world and the majority of them have not begun to invest in Bitcoin or crypto. But if they wanted to own a single Bitcoin, they already couldn't own a single Bitcoin. Now, we already know that there are many big whales out there holding Bitcoin who have over 10,000 Bitcoin uh, in their wallets, right? And so the amount of Bitcoin that is left in circulation is what is ultimately believed by many is going to create just an incredible uh, run and impetus for people to acquire it. The more and more it gets regulated and established and when people begin to turn to their financial advisors and they're told you really should own some Bitcoin, there is going to be such a, a mad dash to acquire Bitcoin and there's just not going to be enough for people to own a single uh, Bitcoin. In addition to that, so that's very inspiring, right? And I wanted to add to it that even, you know, if we continue to compare Bitcoin to gold, even though gold is scarce, it really isn't as scarce as, as Bitcoin. And so its dominance as a store of value has changed in with the with the invention of blockchain technology it is simply a superior asset to hold wealth and that's that's still so revolutionary a lot of you who there's a lot of people out there who haven't yet to believe the story who have yet to understand the story you guys are ahead of so many it's the newness of the story. You know, it's it's eventually going to catch up to them when Bitcoin is everywhere. And here's some places where Bitcoin is popping up. Fidelity, one of the most well-known and established investment companies in America, is positioning themselves to offer Bitcoin and Ethereum to their clients and even, even presenting to them that they should own up to 20% of their, of their portfolio should potentially be in Bitcoin and Ethereum. They have, in the last, uh, in the last quarter here, hired uh, over 110 people, doubling their customer service staff so that they could begin to be in a position and get educated and get their people prepared to basically offer Bitcoin to those to those masses of millionaires who've yet to get on board. Another big thing that we're seeing right now in the crypto space is uh, Sam uh, Bankman-Fried. He is the CEO and founder of FTX. 
and they have been on an absolute buying spree. It's a reminder that the, the wealthy, first they hold cash, and so in a downturn, they're able to position themselves to be buyers, right? And here we are, blood in the street, Sam Bakeman Freed has been bailing out Voyager and BlockFi for, in the tune of hundreds of millions of dollars. And in the last couple of days, news stories have hit that he's trying to get into talks to buy Robinhood. He's clearly trying to position himself and outpace Coinbase as the number one crypto exchange in America, right? So there are definitely people buying right now. And then we have Grayscale's spot ETF, which on July 6th is going to be either approved or disapproved uh, by the SEC. And this is, this is a process. These guys have been on a journey. They've followed a previous roadmap to getting something like this approved. And they set up a, um, I believe it's called a, a I want to get this term correct, a GBTC with the foreknowledge that they were eventually going to convert it to a spot ETF. So the SEC is going to decide on that. 12,000 letters were sent into the SEC encouraging them to approve it. And again, this is just a reminder that you guys are all early to crypto. There are so many people that will not touch crypto, will not touch Bitcoin or Ethereum until somebody like Fidelity or their invest, investment manager tells them that it's safe. Now, this is the last thing, right? The SEC has, I'm going to play a video from uh, Gary Gensler, the chairman of the SEC. It talks about what his goals are in the coming days for crypto. This is a highly speculative asset class. Uh, we've known this for uh, a long time. The ups and downs of this speculative asset class, Bitcoin and hundreds of other tokens. And many of these tokens right now are trying to operate, they're potentially non-compliant. We're trying to make the markets a little better, hopefully a lot better for the retail investing public and to really move forward in the face of new technology like crypto so that the investing public always getting to decide what risk they want to take, but has that full and fair disclosure and we protect against fraud, manipulation, the hucksters that come along because human nature is human nature. So what he's tasked to do is obviously protect the American people. And what he is saying will protect the American people is that those who are offering asset classes, uh, you know, to invest in are fully vetted. They are, you know, there's full disclosure. You know who they are. You know how they're set up, how they're positioned. I guarantee you when it comes to the stable coins, there's going to be a requirement for them to prove the amount of money that they have backing their stable coins. And some of these creative uh, pyramid schemes that have been uh, out there in the last year with DeFi are going to be required to have greater transparency so that everybody can see what the path, what the full risk is and the path to get out of it in the event that there is some form of a, of a collapse. So, you know, Kevin O'Leary famously said that the time to get into crypto is before regulation, that it, after regulation, it is going to just take off. And so if you right now, all of us have the opportunity to invest. We're all early. We're pre-regulation. And, you know, all along the way, people have been saying, you know, Bitcoin at $100, I missed it. It went up from a dollar. Bitcoin at $1,000, I missed it. It 10 x Bitcoin at 20000 I missed it, right? Over and over again, uh, you know, people have been saying that the run up is behind us, right? But it's not, guys. We haven't even gotten to regulation. We are pre-regulation. I want to remind you guys of some of the technical analysis that I've given you. Now, everybody can, you know, interpret the charts differently. I am only making my uh, an an analysis for myself, which is I believe that we're going to have a lot of support at in set before 17,000. A lot of people are calling Bitcoin down to 8,000. The same people, a lot of them are calling it down to a zero. Uh, I'm going to say that even though we have some um, uh, potentially volatile days ahead of us in the market, 
I would be surprised if we broke 14,700. And so I think that, you know, I'm telling you where my last resort buy prices are going to be. And uh, um, obviously it could drop further, but I think that there is just too much going on with people who have spent millions and billions of dollars to position themselves to get their piece of this emerging crypto uh, wealth for this to go down. Bitcoin actually can't go down without it basically, uh, you know, damaging the entire crypto space. So I think that Bitcoin is going to be preserved. It's going to be uh, propped up. It's going to be bought at those levels. I also want to remind you guys what I said about the timeframes of buying. Uh, after the peak of each bull run, the market has hit its low of the bear winter within one year. We're already 400 days from the peak of 64K. So it's entirely possible that we've hit the lowest price that Bitcoin will hit. In addition to that, after Bitcoin hits its lowest price in the bear winter, of the amount of time that the bear winter runs and it consolidates before moving back up to a parabolic run, there is at least two windows of 90 days where it pulls back and is able to be gotten at a price range, um, at, at its lowest price range. So the idea that you're going to have all the time in the world in the bear winter to buy at the best prices um, I think that is overly optimistic. So I think that uh, I just want to let you guys know I'm bringing to you the, the, the crypto news and the crypto technical analysis that's going to help you make decisions to ultimately grow your wealth. Uh, please, uh, in the description of this video is a link to Moomoo. If you are following along with me on our small account challenge, with Verb, there is absolutely opportunity to get in on that. You've not missed out on that either. Um, and right now, if you download Moomoo in the month of June, there is, uh, they're giving away up to 10 free stock and guaranteed 60 bucks. Part of that is one free share of Lucid. It's a great opportunity to open up that, uh, open up an account with them. Uh, they're, right now, they're being very generous. So, hey, I appreciate all of you guys letting me be part of your financial journey. Please hit that like and say hi in the comments section. I look forward to seeing all of you in the next video. Bye-bye.